Do it that way. Go, go. Planned Parenthood has got to go. The time is now to take a stand. I want to stand with you for life, and we all need to stand together to end this atrocity. Thank you. That was the same. An anti-Planned Parenthood rally outside the U.S. Capitol today, one of dozens of anti-abortion demonstrations throughout the country. These protests come as a third undercover video targeting the organization was released today. The video, the most graphic of its kind, includes an interview with a woman who says she used to work as a technician for a company that partnered with Planned Parenthood to collect fetal tissue, a job this woman said she was unprepared for. As a warning, this video's content is graphic and may be disturbing to some viewers. We have edited this footage to show more of the video. I thought I was going to be just drawing blood, not procuring tissue from aborted fetuses. The moment I took the tweezers, I, I put them in the dish, and I remember grabbing a leg, and I said, this is a leg, and the moment I picked it up, I could just feel like death and pain. Like, I've never felt that before, like shoot up through my body. And I started to, bl I blacked out, basically. And I remember leaving that day, like, what have I got myself into? Planned Parenthood has denied any illegal activity and has criticized past videos as highly edited out of context. Since these videos were first released, Congress has launched two separate investigations into Planned Parenthood. The Senate could vote to defund the organization as soon as this week. Joining me now is MSNBC national reporter Erin Carmone, president of Demos, Heather McGee, and Democratic Congresswoman Jan, Jan Schakowsky. Congresswoman Schakowsky, thanks for joining me. Let's first talk about what's happening on the Hill here. The Senate could vote to defund Planned Parenthood as soon as this week. Week. Do you think the organization is seriously at risk of losing their funding? Well, I am concerned that they're not investigating the Center for Medical Progress, which looks like they may have violated laws in, uh, in, in doing this kind of undercover um, investigation by setting up false companies, by using fake driver's licenses, all intended to stop Planned Parenthood from doing something absolutely legal and voluntary and that is contributing fetal tissue for the purpose of uh, doing research into diseases like Alzheimer's and diabetes things that are inflicting so many Americans uh, this is not an Ill first of all the process Alex let's remember we are talking about constitutionally protected abortions we're talking about an organization Planned Parenthood one out of five American women has used the services of Planned and parenthood mostly not for uh, uh, abortions and this is a company dis explicitly set up to try and undermine this organization because they are an anti-choice anti-abortion activist organization um, which may be their privilege but to do it in the kind of we think perhaps criminal way is not okay is there momentum on the hill for a criminal investigation of the center for medical progress well, um, the secretary, the attorney general in California, Kamala Harris, has ag agreed to do an investigation. We have asked the attorney general of the United States, uh, Loretta Lynch, to do one as well. They are studying the tapes. They have not uh, let us know what they are going to do. But I, I, I'm sorry that th this this is something that is really set up to deprive women of a legal procedure. It is this is just an anti-abortion group, and they call themselves the senator for medical progress, really, they want to take women backwards. Erin, what effect do you think this has on the state level, if not at the federal level? Well, one thing we've seen actually already happen on the state level is that Planned Parenthood has been a target of state legislatures, legislators. I mean, look at Texas. That's a situation where they took family planning funding away. Again, no funding that is going to abortions. It's going to cervical uh, cancer screenings. It's going to breast exams. It's going to birth control, which prevents abortions. Um, what they found was that defunded Planned Parenthood, uh, the, the infrastructure, I drove through this, these parts of Texas where all of the health clinics had shut down for lack of funding. Uh, the, the infrastructure was just completely gutted because in a lot of these places Planned Parenthood is the only health provider. So this is an attack that's already very much happening on the state level and on the federal level has been a sort of favorite of Republicans since at least 2011. An attack that's working on the state level Absolutely. in terms of gutting the financing and the resources available for women to make reproductive choices. Heather, um, 
I think what we're seeing this week is the entry of abortion to into the 2016 race in, a, in actually a very big way because Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, and Rand Paul are all running for president. They're all going to have to take a vote on this. They're all going to have to take a vote on this. They're all excited, gleeful to take a vote on this. Um, and in fact, it's, it's deeply misguided. Um, it's deeply misguided because uh, the services that Planned Parenthood provides are safe, legal, necessary um, in terms of the reproductive care for, as, as the Congresswoman said, one in five women. And then this practice is something that we probably couldn't have a highly functioning medical research uh, system in this country without. They're um, directors of the um, National Cancer Institute and Harvard University's own biorepository said, in fact, there's no way that Planned Parenthood is, in fact, profiting off of this. They're probably taking a loss in terms of the reimbursement for uh, the tissue handling and, and, and transportation. So this is one of those issues where if there actually were a moment to do an investigation of what uh, an official investigation of how Planned Parenthood finances this uh, this tissue donation, there would be nothing there. But right now we're seeing a vote tomorrow on defunding it for essentially nothing. Congressman Schakowsky, it feels like the anti-abortion movement is more organized than the, 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 the movement to protect a woman's legal right to choose. Do you agree you know, with I, that? I, I, I really, what I feel now is that young women have woken up, especially because of the attacks on contraception, understand what their stakes are. And what I see is a really energized offense now, not, not women being on defense about their reproductive rights, but that they're going on offense. I think this is a serious mistake on the part of the Republicans politically, because I think women now are saying that we will not go back. You will not take away our rights. So Rand Paul and others may try. The Republicans, who are so out of step on so many issues, may go along with it. But I think that this is ultimately a loser for the Republicans. Yeah, Erin, if you look at the polling as of right now, majority of Americans still support Planned Parenthood. And you talk about the defunding of women's basic health services, and that does not, that does not test well with women across the country. Well, I mean, something that I found really interesting in all of these kind of posturings that are happening around defunding Planned Parenthood is that Republican leadership is holding back a little bit. So you really see the presidential candidates going whole hog on these videos, talking about them, particularly ones where fundraising off of them. Uh, Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz, I believe, are two of the people who have sent out fundraising emails saying, help me defund Planned Parenthood by giving me money. Um, but when you look at John Boehner's comments about this, he sort of said, well, let's wait and see what the investigations uh, hold. When you look at Mitch McConnell, he did not want this Planned Parenthood defunding bill attached to a must-pass bill. He said you've got to do a standalone bill, which really has a better chance of being filibustered. President Obama likely to veto any defunding of Planned Parenthood, so they would have to sort of get to a point where they'd be uh, shutting down the government to prevent women from getting health care services. And that's a point where politically you just have to wonder if it's going to be worth it. You, go ahead. I was just going to say, attacking a woman's right to choose has been an electoral loser in the past few cycles. So so this is really a question of a very crowded field and Republican presidential candidates want to, you know, give red meat to the base and it's not actually a winner for the general or for the country as a whole. It's either chainsawing the U.S. tax code or defunding Planned Parenthood. Erin Carmone and Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, thank you guys both for your time and thank your thoughts. You, Alex. Heather, stay with me when we come back.